Hey, and welcome. I'm Marshall Knight here at the Knight Junior Agency, Inc. And today I'm going to be showing you how to register yourself online with the National Insurance Producers Registry in order to get started working with us here at Symmetry Financial Group. So I am going to do a little bit of a screen share. The first thing you will need to do is navigate over to the website in www.nipr.com. You should see a screen that looks like this. Once you get here, we're gonna click this large button here that says apply for license in order to start the process. Now, most of the agents who start work with us do start off by helping families in the state in which they currently reside. So we are gonna do an application for resident licensing today. If your situation is different, you would use non-resident. If you have questions, reach out. We're always here to, to help. Next will pop up a list of states, so scroll down, select the one in which you're gonna start helping families. You'll notice that you come up here on an individual tab. Most of the agents that start work here with us are working on an individual basis. Business would be if you already had an established LLC or an S Corp that you were gonna bring over to start working with us. But for most of us, like I said, we're gonna start with the individual, and in order to move forward, all you gotta do is click this green apply here button. So that pulls up this new tab. Again, we're gonna select individual. Now the easiest thing to do here is to use this social security number option over here. So just for the sake of argument, we're gonna use um, Mr. Doe. And let's say this is his social. Make sure you do read and accept the NIPR use agreement. You will have to check that box that you have then click next to move forward. You'll see again the last four of your social pop up here. Then when it does ask for a date of birth, it is two digit month, two digit day, and four digit year. So let's just say this is Mr. Doe's date of birth, for example. I'm gonna click next once I've got that in. Here you'll see your name up here where it says click to start, resume workflow if you have to come back to it but it really, it really doesn't take that long, so let's just knock it out while we're here. All right, what we wanna do, licensing, so select that button. Again, we're doing licensing, not adjuster. Application type, for most of us, this is gonna be initial. This is your first time getting this license. And residency, as we said, uh, we are gonna do resident. That's the state that we already reside in. So pull your state down here. Click the add button, make sure it moves over to the other side of the screen. Click that next button to move forward. And select which license we want. So in order to get started with us here at um, Symmetry Financial Group, you have to have this life insurance license. So we'll go ahead and click that one. A lot of us will also go ahead and get our accident and health insurance license at the same time. It allows us to help our clients in more ways and you might as well just knock it out at the same time you're doing your life. So if that's what you're doing, select that as well. I've selected both. If you're just doing life, just go with that. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can click that next button. Here's a summary. Here's a fee that the registry is going to charge you. So keep that number in mind. You will see it again at the end of registration when they're going to ask you to pay that. All right, we now come out here to this main menu. You'll see there's a lot of different items that have red asterisks. This is information we need to fill in. I'm gonna show you the fastest way to do that, and that is by starting up here with the biographic data. So starting up here, uh, we'll just put Mr. Doe in. He already has his date of birth. He's male, we'll say he's a citizen. Bottom line here, ask if you're registered with FINRA. If you are, you can go ahead and put that in. If you're not sure what FINRA is, don't worry about it. Just click next, not required. Move on to the next thing. Address. So let's say Mr. Doe lives, um, Greensboro is a large city around here, so we'll put Mr. Doe up there. That's the United States. Oh, right. Now, under business, once you start working with us, you are technically your own business, so you're just going to use your same address. I'm going to make this one the same as a resident. Use this little shortcut here. Your mailing address, if you have a P.O. box, obviously that's where that would go. Otherwise, we'll use that same as resident. 
and all three of these addresses should match here. Once you get all three of those filled in, we're just gonna go next, move over to the next item. Phone number contact data. So definitely need to put in a business phone number. Don't get hung up on this. This is your phone number that you are gonna use. Um, so for me, for example, and I know a lot of people that start here with us just use their cell phone number. If you have an alternative number, you can put that in. Your home phone number, again, I'm gonna put that same number here. If you wanna put in an alternative number, that's fine as well. Click next once you have those two numbers in. Email address, it does want an address here. And then a business, a lot of people will make a separate email account for their business. Some people continue to use their personal. That's entirely up to you. Business entity name and the business web address, there's no red asterisk there, it's not required, so we're just gonna click next and just leave those blank. Aliases, this is if you do business under another name besides your legal name, you'll definitely need to put that in here. Most people don't, so we'll just click next and move through that. Affiliations, notice there's no red asterisk here, nothing's actually required here. So we're gonna click next and just move on through that as well. Now, the employment history, do read this part carefully. You will need to put in a full five years of employment history, including self-employment, military experience, full-time student, unemployment, anything at all. Um, we'll definitely need to go here. So employer's name, let's see, I work here for the uh, Knight Junior Agency, Inc. I'm the agency manager, and again, Mr. Doe's up in Greensboro, that's North Carolina, and then for the sake of argument, we'll say that he's been there for the past five years. Do use this blue add more button if you need to put in another job, another position, an unemployment period, or anything like that. Once you've got that full five years in, do click this next button, and we are almost done here. Now the background questions, these are extremely detailed legal document. Take your time, go slow, read these questions, make sure you answer them as accurately as you absolutely can. I've already read through these, so I know that I'm just gonna go through and for Mr. Doe, we're just gonna make the answers to all of these no. If you have any concerns while you're going through these, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're definitely glad to help. Once you've finished answering all those questions and notice it grays out the ones that don't apply to you, so you don't have to put an answer in every single one, you'll just click this next button here. Takes you back to your main menu. You see everything here has got that green check mark. That means that we are good to go. If anything's missing, you will see that red asterisk. Just click back into there so that you can get that filled out so you move on. Next, once everything's green and ready to move forward, here's a review of John's application. It will have all of your information in here, all your answers to your questions, work history, address. Double check that, make sure everything's exactly the way you want it to be before you submit it. And the next button's down there at the bottom once everything looks good. You are gonna submit this information for yourself and move on to the next one here. Brings you up to the attestation, so read these very carefully. And once you're ready to accept those, click this I accept button, followed by, you guessed it, the next button. Email address. They're gonna send you a copy of this as well as your receipt, so you do wanna put in your email address there. You can put in more than one if you like. And go next when you're ready. So again, this is this number that you saw. This is your fee to register with the National Insurance Producers Registry. So we'll go ahead and click Submit and Pay. And then here you can put in your payment information. Click Next down here at the bottom when you're ready to go. And that is, that's it. It's pretty simple. So congratulations, welcome to the team. Reach out if you have any questions and we look forward to working with you soon.